everybody. So today we're going to try Sunny D, but this is the orange pineapple flavored one. Um, vodka seltzer. So um, Sunny D did come out with the standard orange, um, I almost want to say eight months ago, um, something like that. But uh, now they have uh, three new flavors that came out. Um, orange pineapple that'll be in this one then a tangerine orange i believe and then an orange strawberry version so i'm going to do a review of each um it's kind of expensive it's an eight pack um and it i want to say it cost me 32 dollars for eight of these um 4.5 percent abv uh now the standard one was good um uh definitely had multiple four packs of it uh, a lot of people i talked to also liked it um, Sunny D is from back in the day. I drank it when I was younger. Um, so I have high hopes. Now it's not, I've got it on my phone because I thought it was kind of weird. Instead of like making a fourth one or throwing in two of the regular ones, it's the quantity is kind of weird. Uh, so on this picture I took, so it's two orange strawberry four tangy orange, and two orange pineapple. I don't know why they went two, four, and two, if you read it like what's on the box. But anyway, let's get into this. Um, standard color, uh, usually the citrus-based vodkas hard seltzers or a standard hard seltzer, um, they're going to be this ghost white. Yeah, pretty much can't see through it, ghost white. There you go. Uh, lots of bubbles coming up, but it is a seltzer, so I expect that. Let's go ahead and smell, see if we get that orange. And I don't know if, I'm guessing since they all say orange, they're using the base one and just adding flavoring to make different ones is what I'm guessing. Let's go ahead and smell. Maybe a touch of sweetness. I don't know if I could tell if that was pineapple or not. I'm getting that orange, um, almost kind of like an orange Alka-Seltzer with all the bubbles popping. Um, it, it's kind of like that, like, okay, if you want to say it's orange juice um, with um, carbonation, sure. Maybe a touch of sweetness from that pineapple. Um, uh, if I was doing it blind, I I wouldn't say there's pineapple in here. But let's go ahead and taste. Yeah, okay. Definitely get a lot more of that pineapple. It's almost like that pineapple overpowers the orange, but in the aftertaste, in the back of the palate, into the aftertaste, as your palate warms up, that orange does come out. But I still get like that aftertaste of eating a real pineapple. Um, if you get the cord one or whatever and you cut it in slices and you eat one, that aftertaste of... I don't like maybe a little warm pineapple in the back, but still some of that orange. I wonder, because I would almost say tangy orange. And the reason I stopped myself from saying that is because there is a tangy orange. Um, it's been a while since I've had the standard version, and I don't remember that tangy orange being there. It's okay. Um, from what I can remember, I would say uh, the standard one is better. Um, 3.5 out of 5 on this. They're not on untapped. I couldn't find them. Um, but, yeah, for this one, I'll go 3.5. I am going to do an overall video um, tasting them side by side. But, yeah, for the most part, this one's okay. Is it worth picking up the 8-pack just for this? As I would say right now, no, buy the regular. So if you enjoyed this review, check some more out over here. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that thumbs up. And until next time.
Cheers.